Hey guys, it's your roomie at uni episode... Wait, how many episodes have I had already? <laughs> episode 5, and in this video I'm just going to talk to you about what lectures, seminars and tutorials are. Um, before coming to university I had no idea how people learn at university. Um, you know, there's no more classrooms which you're used to at school. I was always baffled at how people learnt in this environment. Uh, so let me just break it down for you in this quick video. A lecture is basically a big lecture theatre. It can probably hold up to about 100 to 500 students. They vary in size. Uh, it depends on your course at university. And everyone sits in this lecture theatre and there'll be one lecturer at the front and he'll be conducting the lecture. Um, there's usually a big projector at the front um, with his lecture slides. He'll be going through theory, he'll be going through you know, whatever you guys are learning in your course. But what's interesting is because um, there's not really a culture of putting your hand up and asking for clarification, like in a classroom. Um, I mean, yeah, people still do it and um, you should feel free to do it. I think it's a really good way to learn. Um, and there's no point just sitting there if you're stuck, but you've really got to gauge it because you don't want to be that kid who's always putting his hand up and interrupting the lecture. Um, you don't want to be doing that, but you know, you, you can be tactical and once in a while asking a great question can actually help everyone in the lecture theatre around you. It's an interesting learning environment because it's an hour or two hours of just soaking in all this information. It can be tiring because uh, it's not a classroom where it's a relaxed environment where you're with your friends and everything. It's someone talking at you for two hours. So what I suggest you do is, you know, prepare for the lecture beforehand. Um, perhaps look at the lecture slides before the lecture and this will help ease things for you in the actual lecture itself. And then you've got something called a seminar. A seminar is kind of like a classroom actually. Um, I don't know how it works at different universities but at my university a seminar usually consists of about seven to ten people. It's like a classroom environment. You sit down on a big table and the lecturer is there at the front and you kind of work in a small group on a particular topic and I do really like seminars because it opens up debate, it opens up discussion um, with the lecturer and it feels more personal and it's a, a really nice way of learning and kind of gathering your readings and, and it's a great chance for you to ask questions there too. Finally you have tutorials. Um, this again varies from university to university. Um, at my university tutorials usually have three to four people which is a very good size actually and you're assigned one tutor um, you might have a weekly tutorial you, you might have a tutorial every term they're not as frequent as lectures but in this tutorial it's much more one-to-one -one, um, and you can ask any questions that you have and perhaps you might have a personal tutor who talks to you about personal side of things for example your uni life and they're there to provide guidance. In tutorials you can uh, you know get feedback from your essays, uh, you can talk about academic things that you're, that's on your mind so if you've got any questions and your academic tutor uh, slash your personal tutor kind of acts like your friend, um, a member of staff in the department and you can go to them with any queries that you have. So those are the different things, elements to university life. You've got lectures, seminars and tutorials and make sure that you utilize all of them and use them to your advantage because you know they're there to help you. I hope this video helped and if it did give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section below if you want me to cover anything uni related and subscribe to my channel because I make weekly videos on London life, uni life and traveling as well. I'll see you next time, bye!